Hello everyone, welcome to the Nasty Dynasty where we all learn about life-changing habits, skill sets and mindsets to help us all become more nasty. So today's episode is actually not really a bit special but I guess it's my comeback after a few months lah. Uh, to be exact, about 6 months, so uh, school life has been quite busy, so that's the reason why I haven't been uploading recently. Anyway, so as the title suggests, today is the first episode of the SU With Me series. I'll try to conduct it uh, every single semester, and a lot of people actually ask me in real life, la, like, well, how do you know what to SU, when do you know what to SU, and like, what subjects to SU, and does it really matter if you SU the subject? La? And I guess I can answer some of the questions now, um, based on the very, very limited knowledge I have. I guess uh, you year ones will be able to understand where I'm coming from since we're all year ones in general. La. So basically, I guess the first thing that is very important is, I guess, your goals. So for me personally, right, I'm actually aiming for first class honours, so that's a cap of uh, 4.5 and above. While some others, they might be aiming for second upper, but then you have to aim for a cap of 4.0 and above. So basically, based on your goals, right, you decide whether you need to SU B+, plus or whether you need to uh, SU uh, perhaps a B, because they might pull you down in general. Lah. So that's that's basically the, the gist of SUing and I guess this only applies to NUS students because <laughs> NTU students, uh, I think your SU system is a bit messed up and I'm not really sure whether uh, SMU and private uni students are able to use SUs. Lah. Yeah, but basically for NUS students, remember your goal, uh, whether you want to achieve a first class honours and whether you want to achieve a second upper or not. Next of course is of course the practicality of your goal. Year 1 honestly is the easiest year out of all the years um, From what I hear from my seniors, a couple of my seniors Year 1 is really uh, a year where you just play around If right, somehow you're not able to maintain your goal of uh, first class honours When you're aiming for that goal right, even in year 1 Then there's a high probability that you won't be able to maintain that even in your subsequent years So it actually makes a lot of sense Like, okay let's say uh, my cap right now from year 1 right, is like a 4 Alright, but I'm aiming for first class honours and this average of a 4 right, is actually based off like what, 40 MCs and let's say after I SU like 12, 12 of them, then I have like 28 MCs left of like credits based, my cap is based on these 28 MCs which I think shouldn't be the case, you should actually think about like maybe uh, whether you're able to sustain this entire 4 years uh, with the amount of commitments that you have because some of us, our commitments don't lie in our academics some of us, our commitments lie in our CCAs, in our uh, external business all this kind of stuff so uh, make sure that you know where your commitment lie and actually be very realistic about this entire thing for me, a guesstimate of like your performance throughout the entire years, right? you can actually base on your year 1 so you take 36 MCs and you see what's your grades with 36 MCs. So you just SU, uh, maybe if you take 40 MCs, then you can just SU like one mod. Or if you take like 48 total, then you can just SU like three mods and you see how it goes from there. Uh, because on average, right, you will be taking about 20 MCs a SEM, which is like five modules. And because of that, you don't really want to like give yourself too much allowance and like be, and basically just be realistic about it. And I guess 36 module credits is a pretty clear estimation. So let me just show you guys like the SLC that I used to calculate my grades lah and perhaps show you guys like um, how I decided that I wanted to take up a uh, first class honours and maybe um, why I decided to SU certain stuff, why I decided not to SU certain stuff. So this is the Excel sheet that I use. Um, over here, you can clearly see that it shows like all the different mods I think. All those, the, all those that are in bold, all these are the ones that I chose. But I'm definitely not taking this uh, major in management anymore. I'm taking a second major in physics. And uh, yeah, so anyways, now if you move over to the module planning sheet, right? Then as you can see, right, I have my grades over here. And then I also have the total amount of points that you use to go and calculate it. So uh, let me just explain it very briefly. So basically, right, you just take how to get this 77, right? You just take this times this plus this times this plus this times this plus this times this and so on and so forth. So that's how you get 77. And basically for this, you just go and do the same thing. And that's how I got 96. Lah. And basically, if you SU it, then you just don't count that, uh, that number of module credits. So for example, right, if I SU this, then I don't count it. That's why I had a total of um, 20 MCs that I took in SEM 1, but I only counted 16. Alright, and for SEM 2, I have a total of 28 that I took, but I only count 20. Yeah, so that's how I did it. Lah. And basically, over here, as you can see, it's just a sum of this and this. Okay, and then um, the this one is basically just 77 times 96. And you just take 173 divided by 36, and you just get uh, 4.81. Whenever I start the entire um, SEM, right, I don't ever go in with the point of SUing a certain module. I always go in and try first. Lah. Definitely, you need to go and try and make sure that you actually put in your effort. And when you realize that like maybe the module is not for you and it's really taking up a lot of your effort and the reward to effort ratio is really very low, then perhaps you need to consider to go and like um, cancel this stuff. Lah. Yeah, so basically that's how you calculate the entire um, system, I guess. So now let's move on to SUing the three modules that I actually wanted to SU. Okay, so I think that we have supposed to go to EduRec. 
Okay, so for NU students, you'll go to EduRec and then you will come to this page, okay, login page. After you log in, then you will go over to academics, all right. Then I'm not sure, I think it's under examinations. Okay, doesn't matter, you, can, you guys can just click. Okay, okay, yeah, it's under examinations, okay. So over here, you can just view your results here. So I mean, I mean, if you want to view your results, you can view your results here. Okay, and now I'm going to go to submit SU decorations, okay. So I think, right, if I actually press this, there won't be anything, okay, yeah, there won't be anything shown because I didn't SU it before. But then now, let me just uh, SU. So declare SU for academy year. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, like, you can declare a lot of different stuff, lah. So right now, I'm just going to declare this. Well, oh, I'm really scared that I declared the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Check, 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 check. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. Okay, top and six. Okay, that should be correct. Okay, I'll just press submit. Okay. Okay. Decorations are submitted. Oh, wait, that's all? Okay, okay, okay. So basically, this is safe already. And I guess after the duration, then they will go and put it into your transcript. Yeah, I think they'll put it into your transcript. Because right now, I think my transcript is like... My transcript is only based off my sem semester one, so I think that we need to wait for this entire um, thing to finish first before my official transcript can come out. Ah, yes, it is. It's only based on my semester one, correct? Alright, alright, alright. Let me just wrap this video up by saying that um, everybody has different goals, alright? Uh, first class honours, uh, maybe you want to be the president of your club, uh, maybe you just want to um, spend a, a lot more money on the side, perhaps you want to get more internships, more work experience. So it really depends on your personal goals. I would say don't use like cap as an indication of how successful somebody is. Honestly, right, if you compare to people in uni, right, there's there's an endless, like, it's an endless cycle of like competing and like self-hatred, all this kind of stuff, and it's really very, very pointless. So I actually gave up on that already. Like, at, like honestly, right, if I wanted to go and find people to compare myself with, right, I could find so many people, but honestly, it's just damn toxic to keep uh, putting yourself down like that. Lah. So I guess throughout this entire four years, at least that's what I'm doing, all right, I'm just gonna have um, some goals set, uh, set up for myself and um, some like backup plans lah and then I'll list my priorities accordingly and sometimes honestly academics is not really my priority um, like I, I don't think I don't think I'm able to maintain the first class um, throughout the entire next three years but if I can then that's definitely a bonus lah but if I can't then I guess uh, I won't burn myself so much because um, that really isn't my priority my priority is like gaining experience in like um, startups as well as like uh, engineering experience all this kind of stuff so uh, internships are definitely the priority lah compared to like academics I mean who even cares about your cap in the end like I met a senior right previously and then he told me that if you don't show a cap in your resume nobody will go and ask you about your cap your resume only shows what you really want to show and sometimes employees don't really care about your cap let's say uh, if you see this guy uh, with like a cap 5 but then he has zero experience and then versus you see this guy that has worked at like startups he has worked everywhere he has so much practical knowledge as an employee you obviously want to choose someone with practical knowledge right but I understand that cap might be a primary thing for others so uh, yeah just don't base your success based on like what others prioritize yeah so I guess don't compare yourself to others lah it's like it really doesn't make sense to keep comparing yourself to others because you're just gonna make yourself feel like shit so yeah so I haven't uploaded it very long, I'll try and upload more. And if you guys have anything that you want to find out more, maybe like freshman, you want to find out more about uh, different engineering modules, perhaps uh, you want to find out more about the entire uni life in general, uh, how do you make your life more fulfilling, I guess, then you guys can just drop me in the comment below and I will try to answer your questions as much as I can. Lah. Yeah, so if not, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Always remember, stay nasty.